Well, welcome back. I'm back, and we're doing more to this little Kia Rio 2013 little four-door hatchback. So let's have a look. All right, so what's the deal? Well, this, uh, let's see if we can see it under there. Yes, see, there's supposed to be a little rubber cover over that switch to protect it from the elements. And, uh, well, it's not there anymore. So I have a new one here that my uh, brother-in-law, Crazy Bill, from Crazy Bill's Garage, got for me. So that's what we're going to do today. I've, of course, I've watched a YouTube video of how to do this, so I know how to do it now. <laughs> Anyways, um, so how do you get them open? Well, there's a emergency release inside, so let's go crawl around inside. So here we are, we're just going to have to uh, pop this down and of course see all the wonderful stuff. <laughs> uh, and there we go, there should be the latch right here, there, oh, <clears throat> let's stick some, oh man. All right, let's see it better here. There's a little switch here to release. So we got to take this panel off. There's a screw, Phillips screw here. And these little, these little puppies pop off to help you pop it off. So let me do that. All right, so now with those screws out, she should just... Ooh, it should just pop. Yeah. Should and will are different things. You don't want to yank on it too hard. It's supposed to just, there we go. Just a little bit of a tug. They're just held in by clips. Whoop. So you can see, don't do this when it's super cold because plastic will break if it's cold if this is happening in winter make sure you take it inside warm it up really nice to like 20 degrees make sure the interior is warm open up the trunk and everything all right so what's going on here we're gonna here is the connector right here to the power the power trunk here's the latch there is a electric latch popper thingy there. Let me get this, oh, let me get this open. So here's the new switch. Let's just plug it in, make sure everything is, yeah. And, ho ho. Voila. All right, let's unplug that because we're gonna have to there is three 10 millimeter bolts holding this on. So let me go grab that. All right, last bolt. There we go. So all the bolts are out. Let's uh, put something here so that the uh, trunk doesn't lock. And there. Now, there's a, where that, there's a grommet back there. We gotta, hmm. There we go. Just push that in, pop that out, and there we go. All right. Now. Yeah, we got some moisture happening in there. That is not looking too nice there. Ay, 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 ay. All right, let's take this all to the workbench, shall we? All right, so here we're on the workbench. What I have here is, let's see if we can see that size. That is the size of a Phillips head screwdriver. It seems to fit quite nicely in there, so let's go ahead and take these screws out so we can take this unit off 
and uh, see if we can get that. Uh, we're gonna have fun with that rusty screw. All right, so those don't come there. Be careful that these are just, this is just plastic, not the screws, but the, uh, so that's going to, should just kind of pop out. And kind of snapped in there. that off a little bit just like that just nice and gentle there we go so there as you can see there's like a little circuit board in there I just got the rubbers deteriorated and all gummy and yeah look at that it's just mush so now we have to deal with this let's get this one off first that came off all right this is going to be interesting. Is there any... Oh, dear. Well. That's going to be fun. Right. Let me figure this out. All right. I... I, uh, <laughs> I can't get anything to grab onto that. And I don't want to damage this housing because there's not much there but I got this uh and I'm gonna see if I can cut a groove in there and get a flathead screwdriver in there and um, get it out like that. Alright, let's see if that's given me, sorry, given me enough. Uh, nope. Needs more. Hopefully I don't cut right through there. We're going to be in trouble. plastic either like I said there's just plastic and come on oh not it's not liking it good let me play with this some more all right i got it to move <laughs> oh, yes 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 oh boy that was close all right so obviously we're not going to use this again i'm going to see if i can find i have a a hole <laughs> i have a whole drawer full of wonderful screws and stuff so i'm gonna go look see if i can find one so anyways that comes out like that just like that let's clean this up a bit so here's the old one let's say it's all the rubber is just gone to, to gumminess it's like it's like literally like gum anyways maybe something got put on it sometimes you get i don't know Anyways, here's a new one. So, where's our other screw? Here's our other screw. I'm going to go find another screw like this. Well, here's my uh, my screw bin. Lots of little screws. There's, there's not a lot that are this small. I found a couple of candidates. One of them, the thread's a bit, a bit big on it. And let me tell you, these screws are tiny. I have found another one here that seems like the, uh, oh yeah, so you can see the, 
<laughs> the size, but uh, I might I might need to find a small. I, I have teeny tiny washers. I might see if we can. Let's uh, let's go see if these work. Okay, so I have the switch inserted. It only goes it only goes in one way because the screws are offset here. So we're gonna put the factory screw back in where it came from. Back to where you once belonged. So that's just gonna go in there nice and snug, not over tight. Now that's good enough for now. Now I found a little washer from, uh, cause I think this screw's a tad long. So we don't want to go too far cause it's gonna poke out the other side. So I put a little washer in there to stop it from, it's actually this washer is from uh, a uh, rivet, a rivet washer and I had some. So that kind of actually worked out nice and actually that seems to work quite nicely. And make sure this is snug, not over tight. It's plastic, remember? There, I think that'll work. All right, so we have that one, get out of here. Um, our three other screws for this. So now we can put this back in. Oh, back is given up on me. Uh, yes, all right, so now this fits back in here, just like so, like so, and like so, there we go, and these screws just should uh, nicely thread back in there, come on, get in there, just like that. There we go, remembering not to over tighten. That little fella there. There we go. And, uh, I have an extra screw. Yeah, that works, that works. Right. Is that the, oh, that's the one I brought to see if it fit. Yeah, get out of here. All right, let's go back to the vehicle. Back to the bat vehicle. All right, so you can see where it gets quite dirty in there. So let's just. Clean that up a little bit. Make sure this grommet area is, make sure these are clean. The mounting holes, that's nice and clean. Crisp and clean with no caffeine. <laughs> All right, and it looks like our, uh, we have a little bit of extra length on the, on the, okay, let me, I need two hands for this. Okay, make sure your grommet is sealed and seated properly. And now we can just nip and tuck, and there we go. Just nicely there, we're going to do do do. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll tighten these down first. All right, last one, zip it on there. And just with a little quarter inch hand ratchet, just make sure it's that they're all snug. And not too tight again, it's, or there's just plastic on the other side. You don't want to over tighten. You just want to make sure they're snug, that it don't rattle around. Plug, uh, there we go, plug that in and Let's just make sure. Ah, uh -huh. voila! Now we just gotta pop this, uh, 
pop the cover back on we got the two screws here yeah all right all right now all we need to do is uh tighten up these this is a very low power it's not going to just a handheld screwdriver you don't want them too tight again it's just plastic it it just popped on like that so now let's see which ones go where maybe they uh oh i think that must be this side let's uh pop these back in nope all right and that is it we're done we just gotta put the seat back and there you go so that's well, that wasn't that hard actually and that's uh switch new switch should be good for another 10 years or so hopefully um anyways thanks for watching hopefully this helped you out in some way or found it entertaining somehow and um as i as i say with these videos do what you love and love what you do I have a little bit of fun with it too Anyways, thanks for watching. Till the next one. Bye for now.